I'm Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video is basically about which primers are best and safest for skin of color. Now, the thing with primers is that it has quite a lot of benefits, but it's also the first thing you put on your skin after your skincare. So your skincare tends to be your moisturizer, your SPF 50, and then your primer. Now, because of that, because it's literally the next thing to put on your skin, you actually want to be more careful with your primer than even your foundation in terms of ingredients. So what I want you to do is to look at your primer ingredients list. It's called the Inky List, I-N-C-I, not like the brand, Inky. Um, and you turn it over and you can have a look at the ingredients. Now, if you've watched 10 or more of my videos, you will be a Dr. V Inky Hacker. That means that you should be able to recognize at least 50% of the ingredients at the back of any skincare packaging, including cosmetics cosmetics is also has exactly the same inky at the back we use similar emulsives similar surfactants similar um, emollients etc it's the same categories of ingredients it's just that it tends to it tends to have color in it so you'll see that at the back okay so um, what are the benefits with primer so the key benefits I would say is to smooth wrinkles so there are different types of primers as you age you might want to smooth wrinkles fill in wrinkles almost temporarily so that when you put your foundation on top it doesn't crack uh, the secondly is if you have oily acne prone skin you want something that's going to mattify the skin because you are producing sebum all day long and it tends to break up um, foundation by the end of the day and the skin looks oilier and oilier so actually having a matte um, matte mattifying primer is great uh, also if you have texture issues meaning if you've had acne scarring and you've had a box car scarring for example or ice pick scarring you may well want to put a primer on first in order to again fill the gaps before you put the foundation on top and also the other big one for skin of color is brightening primers especially on the eyelids so with us a large percentage of us get dark circles periorbital hyperpigmentation i've got a whole video on that um, but you know if you don't want to treat it that's fine but a lot of times you want to put something brightening on the skin so that when you put your eyeshadow or anything else on top the color pops basically um, and that definitely helps when you have a brighter primer underneath so these are the key benefits but actually you also want your primer to be nafe safe that means no denatured alcohol no fragrance and no essential oils no so denatured alcohols uh, basically dry the skin and it's an easy ingredient to put into your skincare because you get that quick dry feeling but because it's volatile it is it tends to dehydrate the skin which you don't want especially if you're going to have a whole day of makeup on top um, so I'm just not a fan of denatured alcohol uh, secondly is fragrance so fragrance is the number one cause of contact dermatitis uh, people seem to think I fear monger a lot on fragrance look it's not that you know, something disastrous is going to happen if you use fragrance. It's just not my preference for skin of color. For us, we can't afford to irritate our skin. I always say one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment. So we do need to be more careful with our skin because our melanocytes are larger and they are easier to trigger. So actually when you have Caucasian skin, you can get away with a lot more. Whereas if you did get contact dermatitis from fragrance, you now have inflamed skin that can lead to pigmentation. And this is why I tend to err on the side of caution when it comes to skin of color. That's really what this whole channel is about, is just to teach you the best products for your skin. And as you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored, so it is purely evidence-based information. So you're probably thinking right now, right, Dr. V, that's enough talking. Just tell me what products to buy. So let's go through it. So the first one is Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Now, I would say purchase this for dry skin or if you have large pores that you want to minimize. I would probably avoid this one for oily acne prone skin. It has satir it has a sterile heptanoate, which is four out of five on the comedogenic scale. Um, it may well be fine and it may not le lead to clogging of pores. It's just, it wouldn't be my first option if you had oily acne prone skin. Uh, it is nafe safe, so I would purchase this for my own skin because I tend to have combination skin um, and as I age, our skin becomes drier. Oh, the glories of aging. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, I love that product. 
and purchase it for your dry to combination skin and acne is not one of your issues. The next product I like is Revlon Photo Ready. Again, it's nafe safe, um, it's non-comedogenic, it's good for fine lines, pores and acne, but it's not mattifying. Meaning if throughout the day your skin becomes oilier and oilier, then this is not the one to purchase. Um, it's just that if you have dry acne skin, for example, then this is a good one to go for um, because it is non-comedogenic. If you have oily skin, then go for NYX Angel Veil. It's silicon based, which means it basically acts like a sieve, so it doesn't clog the pores. Um, it is nafe safe and it's a mattifying primer, so it will help to mop up the oil. Don't forget sebum is being produced 24 seven. So once you wash your face in the morning, usually in the morning you'll be fine and then by the afternoon you start to see the sebum more and your skin starts to feel shinier, makeup starts to split. It's just, yeah, it's not ideal. So this is a good one if that's your main concern. The next one I think will do very well with my Skin of Colour family and that's the Brightening Milani Prime Light Strobing uh, Primer. It is nafe safe. It does contain, contain um, sorbitan isosterate, which is two out of five on the comedogenic scale. So it's not actually that high up and it probably is well formulated. I think most people will love this formula. I just maybe would sidestep it if you have acne because you, there are better options for you, that's why. Right, so those are my four that I would recommend. Now the classic mistakes would be you want to avoid talc, fragrance, witch hazel, and alcohol. These are the ones that I basically found in the vast majority of primers. Today, I've literally just filmed the best foundations for oily acne prone skin. So do head over and check that out. I'm just, I'm not sure which videos you guys want me to make for you for in terms of color cosmetics. Uh, for different skin types and the more I'm investigating I mean literally it took me hours to just find these four primers that I would recommend to my loved ones that I would recommend to you so I was just thinking like how, how is everybody right now finding what's suitable for their skin that's gonna stop them from breaking out or you know not lead to contact dermatitis so if you want me to make your whole series on color cosmetic videos I'm more than happy to just write down what titles you want because I'm not sure exactly you know, what your specific concern is and nothing is too silly. So just write it down because I promise you, if you have a question, so do a thousand other people. Um, so I will definitely do it for you. Um, don't forget, I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video. Follow me on YouTube, obviously, <laughs> Instagram, Dr. Mita Rattan and Skincare by Dr. V and also on TikTok, which is also Dr. Mita Rattan too. I've now created a private Facebook group for our Dr. V Inky Hackers, so you can follow, uh, join that too. There are a few questions that you have to ask uh, answer in order to get in, but I'm sure you will, will be fine. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.